Hey, it's Monkey Ball P, and this is a tutorial on how to update your iPod Touch to the 3.0 firmware for free. With the same procedure, you can also bring your jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch back to factory settings or unjailbreak it uh, so you can bring it back to the Apple Store and claim warranty on it, which is what I'm going to do with the 3D iPhone for the purpose of this tutorial. And the steps are pretty much the same whether you're doing this on a Mac or a PC. So what you're going to need is your iPhone, your iPod Touch, iTunes 8.2, and you have to make sure you have 8.2 because the 3.0 firmware will not work with any older version of iTunes. And lastly, you're going to need the correct firmware for your device. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download the right firmware for your iPhone or your iPod Touch, and the links are available in the uh, description of the video. Uh, so in my case, I'm going to be using the 3G phone firmware, as I have downloaded over here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is change the .zip extension to .itsw. Um, if you're like me right now and you can't see the .zip extension, uh, all you have to do is open up the Windows Explorer, go to Tools, Folder Options, go to the View tab, and uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Then just go OK and close out of Windows Explorer. So now you're going to be able to see the .zip extension. So all we're going to do is right click on it, rename, and change the extension to IPSW. Hit enter and if it asks you if you want to change the file extension just hit yes. And what you're going to want to do now is open up iTunes and make sure that your iPhone or iPod Touch is connected with the data cable and it's being recognized by iTunes. So what we're going to do now is put the put the phone into the device firmware upgrade mode more commonly known as DFU mode and how we're going to do this is you're going to hold the, uh, down on the home button and the power button until the device reboots and you see the Apple logo and when we see the Apple logo you're going to release the power button but continue holding on to the home button and then until you see the iTunes logo with the USB with the USB cable showing so I'm just going to do that so home and power hold those two down just turned off. Now we see the Apple logo, we can release the power button, but continue to hold on to the home button. And now we see the iTunes logo with the USB cable and it's okay to let go of the home button. You can put your phone down now. So you can see that iTunes uh, recognize the device. It says here, Windows found new hardware. Everything's okay. And iTunes is going to pop up warning saying that iTunes has detected your iPhone in recovery mode. So just hit OK. And what you're going to want to do now is hold down the shift key and click on restore. It's going to bring up a browse window and all you got to do is browse for the IPS, uh, IPSW file that we created before. Click on that and hit open. And that's uh, basically all you need to do on your end and the firmware is going to restore itself. And But this usually takes a little bit of time so make sure you give yourself a good amount of time to do this. Don't rush. And that's all. That's all it takes. So we're just going to leave that here. Just let it upgrade. So it's just preparing iPhone for restore right now. And if you guys have any other questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And check out my channel for more tutorials and other stuff related to iPhones and iPod Touches. So right now we have the progress bar coming up. And this is the part of the uh, restore that takes the longest time. So just be patient. Once it's done, you're going to see a message saying that your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and it's restarting now and you'll see the phone restart. It's going to show another progress bar, but this one's a lot faster than the first one, so don't worry.
And once it's done, you'll see the same iTunes logo with the USB cable. And all you have to do now is set up your iPhone or iPod Touch as if it was brand new. And that's all you have to do. You just save yourself 10 bucks. So I hope that helps. Once again, it would really help me if you guys could rate my video if you found it helpful. And subscribe to my channel for more iPhone and iPod Touch content. Thank you very much for watching.